Michael and I have been trying to have this family for about seven years. The last nine months of her life were the happiest I'd ever seen her. And I think the most egregious thing is that the woman I, who most wanted to be a mother that I had ever met has been deprived of that. I first heard about it when uh, there was an email sent out on the Washington Heights parent listserv just informing everybody about a tragedy. My immediate thought was, how can I possibly help? What can I do? And I happened to have a freezer stocked with breast milk at the time um, because I had a three-month-old baby and I was expressing a lot of breast milk for some nursing issues we were having. Immediately I thought, I wonder if they want this breast milk. <laughs> and shortly thereafter, I got an email also on the listserv saying that um, a breast milk drive was happening. So it was perfect. I have an old friend from college named Jessica um, Province, and she got in touch with me and just said this is something she would like to do. It started just with her putting the word out to some moms she knew. She recently lives in New Jersey, but also has lived in New York and still comes up here a lot and has friends up here as well and family in Long Island. So I think there are moms from all of those areas who are contributing milk. And um, some are, I know are even driving an hour each way to make the drop-offs. <laughs> um, it's just amazing. You know, it's not fun to pump for breast milk. <laughs> um, and the fact that they would be generous and, and care enough about the twins to make sure that they got this milk is just, it's just incredibly touching. Jack is a, maybe a little bit more, um, more of a sensitive, deep thinker. And Reverie's a little bit um, more uh, happy-go-lucky, perhaps. Um, but they're both very, very sweet. People I've never met, people I don't even know, but people who, once they've heard the story, uh, feel the need to do something to help make something that feels so wrong feel a little less.